to make this quick batteries going dead it's been raining its butt off uh, hard to do anything in the rain but uh, last week and I managed to take the seats out of this and kind of I got a lot of the headliner out there's still some small bits and pieces I need to go over just trying to get a look underneath see what we have uh, floor pans obviously are gonna have to be replaced they're not bad uh, price wise uh, fronts are all decent uh, but they need to be replaced the whole thing needs to be replaced if I got this thing running and if I really wanted to put the seat back in here I could probably drive it you know all right but definitely wouldn't be able to have any passengers in the back the back side is just terrible where the battery tray is at it is uh eight up all the way through I'm sitting on a board right now uh, the rear deck is the rear section of the car is I guess because it was sitting so low on the ground for so long it's pretty rusted this they sell this whole section uh, rear deck whatever it's called uh, but it's a bit pricey compared to the rest of the stuff and quite frankly I think I could make it myself it wouldn't be original but I could take some sheet metal and fab it up and make it for a lot cheaper that's a section you never actually see it's behind the seat so um, there's some rust back here on the the fenders inside fenders uh, I think it might be able to take some rust remover put it on there soak it and get it uh, cleaned up well enough I have to take rust remover to a whole bunch of stuff and uh, get it reconditioned and get it to where it uh, stops corroding so we got our work cut out for us on that but uh top is good and solid uh, windows will need new new rubber that's uh, reasonably priced um, I'm looking at sites like J bugs and JC Whitney and Rock Auto all those places have lots of parts so parts are not hard to find for these as far as I've seen so we'll probably end up uh, I end up uh... anyway so I picked up a battery uh, when it gets nice and dry out we'll try to uh, get this thing crunk okay uh, see if it actually see if it'll actually start um, who knows I can turn I've turned the motor over by hand uh, so and it had oil in it I added a little bit of oil um, but we'll we'll see uh, fuel tank I checked it I pulled the cap off the fuel tank it didn't smell bad it actually was like there's nothing in it I don't think there, there may have been, I looked down in there it looked dry as a, a bone you know there was no bad smell and no uh, didn't look like there was anything in it so Fuel lines, I'm sure, are rotted on this thing. That probably have to run new fuel lines. So when I try to start this, I'll just have to pour some fuel into the carburetor, disconnect the fuel from the gas tank, uh, and just see if I can get it to turn over. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a tour of the inside.
All right, so here's the seats that came out of this bug. The bug is a 67, and I've been told, and it looks like the seats out are, are uh, out of a 68. The uh, 67 would have had low seats, wouldn't have had this headrest here. These seats look like they were pretty nice back in the day. Nice shade of uh, like a teal, I guess you'd call it. Nice looking pattern. It's too bad they are got uh, some pretty bad splits right there. This was the driver side. This was the passenger. The passenger is about the best looking one for the time being, just to get this thing going. If there's some way I can make this passenger seat fit over here onto the driver's seat or something somehow or another if I can figure out how to do that I may put this in there just uh, until I can afford to reupholster and repad the rest um, there's several sites on there that sell the pads new pads and new uh, upholstery the frames aren't bad, they just need to be reconditioned, repainted. Uh, interior is not as bad as you would think price-wise. Actually, the foam for these is kind of the high point. It's more expensive than the uh, actual upholstery, it seems. Uh, if they had this color, this would be a real nice color to go back with, but I, I haven't really seen it. All right, plans for the exterior of the bug. I am going to leave all the patina. It's gonna be an as-is car. I'll probably take a pressure wash it off, pressure wash all the moss and algae or whatever off of it. Um, and then take some linseed oil and coat the whole thing with it. That will slow down the pre-existing rust. Uh, Body-wise, it's real good. It's got some surface rust. I'm going to leave it. And we're just going to linseed oil over that. Now, I'm going to have to probably take the body. I'm going to have to take the body off to do the floor pans. So when I do that, I will undercoat, refreshing, and uh, undercoat the underside of the body. Uh, put a good primer and good base coat on it. Uh, we may eventually do all new chrome, but for now we'll just leave it as is. Uh, I want to drop it. Probably do uh, two and a half inch spindles up front and uh, possibly two notches in the back. That'll make it pretty low. Of course, I'll probably end up doing all new brakes, uh, all new brake lines. Uh, I'm sure they're probably pretty wore out. But that will be it. That's an overview. We'll eventually do new tail lenses. They're uh, mismatched. They're pretty cheap. Uh, lens costs about 15 bucks for these. Uh, the front lenses, they're only like a couple bucks. So it's not expensive to redo those. This side here has that a lot of that mother mother nature that needs to be washed off. All the windows are good, so we're good on that. Probably for now, stick with the stock rims. Just take them off, get them reconditioned, hit them with a the rattle can paint, get new tires. I'd like to get some uh, Coker white walls. Probably do the rims black and put some hubcaps on them. That'll look real good. So that's what we have. 1967 Volkswagen Bug. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's also going to be a nice reward when it's driving down the road. 
Thanks for watching.